when your baby's born, obviously the cord is cut. Um, we normally do what we call delayed cord clamping, so that allows all of the blood from the placenta to be perfused back to the baby, and that's all that baby's blood cells that it needs. And then the cord it is no longer needed, but it's got a little clamp on it, and it's just going to dry off because it's going to become dead tissue, and no longer required, and it will just separate on its own. So what we advise is to keep it clean and dry. You don't really need to do an awful lot with it. If you've got a nappy on the baby, just fold the top of the nappy down just to expose that cord. Obviously, you can put a vest in a baby, grow on your baby. That's absolutely safe. We don't advertise that or advocate that you bath your baby until the cord has come off. Just allow it to separate. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to see if this falls down just so, yeah, perfect. Do you see what I mean? I would do this. You're very lucky you've got a short cord and clamp. Leave it unfolded like that. We advise that you don't put any products on your baby at all for the first six weeks. Um, so it's just water. Um, your baby's needs to be topped and tailed, so that's kind of, you know, the face and the bottom washed every day, just with water. At this stage, you know, newborn babies don't need bathing every day. They're not outside rolling around in the dirt. Once or twice a week is sufficient. She's got a little bit of dry skin there, but it's not excessive. Oh, I know, I know. You're best off leaving this. Babies have very delicate skin. They've come from a very watery environment inside the uterus to a dry environment. So it's quite porous in the first few days and it develops a natural flora on the skin. The flora has an antibacterial property to it. And if you were to use um, anything with a soap in it, the pH would actually strip off that um, lovely flora on the skin. So we want to just, the best for babies, and that's it, what it does, it just prevents baby from getting any dry skin conditions. Some babies will develop those anyway, but we want to keep that skin as pristine as possible.